Well, some are celebrating, others are heartbroken as Caltrans crews clean out a homeless encampment in Atwater Village today. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live with what's being called the Casitas community where everyone's being told to relocate. Tina. And Caltrans crews are still here, Chris, although you can see that they have mostly cleared this part of the encampment. Some people tell us this is progress, but others say it is just a temporary disruption that won't do anything to help with the homeless crisis. Yes, about time. Thank you. Albert, a homeowner in Atwater Village, was pleased when he saw Caltrans crews cleaning up the homeless encampment under the two freeway this morning. He says the area was not only dirty, but dangerous, with people doing drugs out in the open and setting illegal fires. I've been here 50 years, 58 years, and this has been going on for five years now. And they have fires, the guyway burnt fire every weekend under that bridge. It's going to fall down pretty soon. It is illegal for anyone to camp out on the fenced off land that belongs to the state. So Caltrans crews came out last week and warned everyone about the sweep. Volunteers with outreach organizations like Streetwatch LA have been trying to help people move their personal belongings. It's heartbreaking. Uh, sometimes I get really emotional um, because this is people's like entire, like this is all they have. Natasha Durrell, who has struggled with housing herself, says she understands Caltrans crews are just doing their job. But she says sweeps like these don't work when there's nowhere to move the people in the encampments. I think that's another misconception that people feel is that their resources are abundant and that people are choosing not to take them. And that's just not the truth. A lot of these resources are not available. So that's where she thinks the efforts need to be made, finding more housing options for people before breaking up the communities they've forged in encampments. If we're ripping apart safety, if we're ripping apart people's homes, how, right, how is that supposed to be a part of the solution? Some people who live in this area tell us there have been sweeps here before, but the encampments have been built back, sometimes within a matter of weeks.